Welcome back, mathematicians. This is Math with Mr. Almeida. I hope that you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about uh, subtracting decimals. Uh, and this is really important because when we talk about uh, decimals, a lot of uh, confusion comes about sometimes. But I'm making this video so that you can really understand what's going on. The first thing that you must really understand um, and accept uh, is that when we add or subtract, we can only do so if we have the same units. If we do not have the same units, we cannot add or subtract. It just cannot happen. For example, if I have two cats plus five cats, I'm going to have seven cats. I can add those, those two numbers because they're talking about the same unit, which is cats. So, uh, if you do not have the same unit, you cannot add or subtract. For example, you're going to see what I'm talking about when we go into place value. This is the tens place, this is the ones place, and this is the tenths place. Now, when I'm subtracting, I'm subtracting, so I have to keep this in mind. I can only add or subtract like units or the same units. These are tens right here, two tens. So therefore, I would be um, I would be subtracting those two tens from these five tens. These seven ones are talking of, are in relation to these two ones. And these nine tenths are in relation to these seven tenths. So when you're adding or subtracting, you must make sure that you're talking about the same unit when you are adding or subtracting. Otherwise, you cannot do it. All right, let's model this. When you're talking about adding or subtracting, you always want to model your numbers. So the biggest place value in any of these numbers is the tens place. And it's the biggest one here as well. And the smallest place value is the tenths place. So it's right here. So I'm going to literally go from the tens place all the way to the tenths place. To the right of the tens place is the ones place. And to the right of the ones place is the tenths place with the THS. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to first draw the first number, uh, which is 52 and 7 tenths. So 52 means 5 tenths. I'm going to draw 5 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tenths. 2 ones, 2 ones, and 7 tenths. 7 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 tenths. And from that, I am going to subtract two tens, seven ones, nine tenths. So first I'm going to start with nine tenths. Let's look at how many tenths I have. I have seven tenths. Do I have nine or more tenths? No, I do not. So I must do something. I must unbundle. That means take apart one of these ones. Whenever I take a number apart, I'm not getting rid of it. But what I am doing is taking it apart. So I'm going to show you that by crossing out this, this, this place value disk and saying, listen, I took this apart into its 10 smaller units. So these are their 10 smaller units right here. Okay. Now this number has not, this number has not changed in terms, of, in terms of its value. It just has been renamed. So this number at first was 5 tenths, 2 ones, and 5 tenths, sorry, 7 tenths. Now it is 5 tenths, 1 one, and 17 tenths. And that's okay. Okay? It's still the same value. It's just getting a different name to the number. All right. So now from this, could I subtract 9 tenths? Yes, I could. I have 9 or more tenths. Let's go on to the next place. Could I subtract seven ones? Let's go to the ones place. I only have one one now. Only one one that's still bundled. I don't have seven or more ones. So therefore, I am going to have to unbundle, take apart a ten into its ten smaller units, which are ten ones. So I'm taking it apart, taking apart that one ten, and it is now ten ones. Now, could I subtract seven ones from this number right here. Yes, I have seven or more ones. I'm trying to subtract two tens. Do I have two or more tens that are, that are still bundled? Yes, I do. 
so therefore I can, I can complete my subtraction. All right, let me go about doing that right now. All right, I'm going to use this blue to show you what I am, what I am subtracting. Okay, that means taking apart. All right, so here we go. Uh, so I'm subtracting 9 tenths. Let me subtract 9 tenths. 9 I know is 5 and 4. So that's 5 and that's 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, what do I have left? I have these 7 tenths that are here and the one more tenth that's here. So how many tenths do I have left? I have 8 tenths. I'm going to put an 8 right here for 8 tenths. Between the tens, tenths and the ones place always goes the decimal point. Now I'm trying to subtract 7 ones. Do I have 7 more ones? Yes, I do. Let's do that. 7 or more ones. Okay, that's 5, 6, 7. How many ones do I have remaining? 1, 2, 3, 4 ones. Therefore, there are 4 ones left after I subtract 7 ones. And lastly, I need to subtract 2 tens. Let me subtract 2 tens. 1, 2. How many tens remain? 2 tens. Therefore, our difference or our answer to the subtraction problem is 24 and 8 tenths. Let me show you what the algorithm looks like and why you take the certain steps that you do. This is 52 and 7 tenths minus, this is 2 tens now, so that goes below the tens place because you can only add or subtract the same units. All right, I'm trying to subtract 9 tenths. Do I have 9 or more tenths? No, I don't. So I'm going to unbundle. That means take apart 1, 1. When I take apart 1, 1, 1, 1 remains. And because I unbundled one of these ones, those now become 10 tenths. Okay? I broke it up into its smaller units, 10 tenths. Those 10 tenths plus 7 tenths are now 17 tenths. And that's what you saw right here. These 10 tenths and this 7 tenths are now 17 tenths. And that's what I did. So I, I, I unbundled one of the ones, and I was left with one one that was bundled right there. Now I could do the subtraction, but I'm going to hold off on it until the very end. I'm trying to now subtract seven ones. Do I have seven or more ones? No, I don't. So I must unbundle a ten. Unbundle means two, and when I unbundle one of the tens, how many tens remain bundled? Four bundles of ten. So therefore, um, those 10, 10, that one ten is now worth 10 ones. Those 10 ones put together with the one one is now 11 ones. Okay? 11 ones. And that's what I have right here. 10 ones and 11 ones. I unbundled one of the tens and I was left with four tens. And now I can subtract seven ones from 11 ones. And I'm trying to subtract two tens. Do I have two or more tens? Yes, I do. The subtraction begins. 17 minus 9 tenths is 8 tenths. And that's what we see right there. 11 ones minus 7 ones is 4 ones. And that's what we see right here. And the last one, 4 tens minus 2 tens is 2 tens. And that's what we see right there. So you see where the algorithm comes from? It comes from a very, very deep understanding of place value and the idea that you can only add or subtract when you have the same units. Last problem, we'll, we'll take 200 minus 5 and 2 tenths. I have the largest place value in any of these numbers is a 2, is in the hundreds place, so I'm going to start with hundreds, and the smallest place value is the tenths, so I'm going to go to the tenths. So we start with the hundreds, hundred, tens, ones, and then the tenths. All right, let's model in subtraction. We always model the, uh, the, the first number. All right, so we have 200. That 200 is written just like this, two hundreds. And that's all we have, two hundreds. These two hundreds, we're trying to subtract five ones and two tenths. Well, let's go to the tenths. Do we have any tenths? No, we do not. Do we have any ones to unbundle? No. 
We don't have any ones. Do we have any tens to unbundle? No, we don't. So we must unbundle a hundred. When we unbundle a hundred, that is now worth ten tens. That's worth ten tens. One hundred. One of any unit to the left is always worth ten of the units to the right. Okay? So now I need to unbundle a ten. If I unbundle a ten, that one ten is now worth ten ones. I just took it apart. There are the ten ones. And now I need some tenths, so I'm going to unbundle a one and get ten tenths. There are my ten tenths. Now could I subtract two tenths from that? Yes, I can. And as you can see, our, our, number, our number is still 200, but it, it has a different name. It's now 100 plus 9 tenths plus 9 ones plus 10 tenths. And that all makes 200. Okay? All right. So let's see. We're trying to subtract 2 tenths. We do have 2 tenths to subtract. We're trying to subtract 5 ones. We do have 5 or more ones to subtract. So let's go ahead and do our subtraction. All right, let's take away two tenths. I took away two tenths. How many tenths are remaining? Eight tenths. All right, between the tenths and the ones place always goes the decimal point. I'm trying to now subtract or um, take away five ones. Let's take away five ones. One, two, three, four, five. How many ones remain? One, two, three, four. Four ones remain. L next. I don't have anything to subtract from the tens. I don't have any hundreds to subtract. So therefore, how many tens are here? I have nine tens. And how many hundreds are here? I have 100. So therefore, our answer is 194 and 8 tenths. Let me show you how this works with the algorithm. That's 200 right there. The I'm trying to subtract five ones, so the five would go underneath the ones place because I can only add or subtract like units or the same units. And that means the decimal point goes right there in both the numbers and some subtracting two tenths as well. So put a zero in any place value that doesn't have a digit. It just helps to solidify place value for you. Um, all right, now I'm trying to subtract two hundredths, sorry, two tenths. Do I have two, two or more tenths? No, I don't, so I need to unbundle a one. I don't have any ones to unbundle, so I must go to a ten. I don't have any tens to unbundle, so I must unbundle a hundred. When I unbundle a hundred, how many hundreds still remain bundled? One. And one hundred is worth ten tens. Ten tens plus zero tens is ten tens. But I do need to unbundle a ten because I need to have a one so that I can have um, so that I can break one of the ones apart to make ten tenths. So therefore I'm going to unbundle a ten. When I unbundle a ten, nine tens remain. That one ten is now worth ten ones. Ten ones plus zero ones are ten ones. But I need to unbundle a one in order to get some tenths. So when I unbundle a one, I get nine tenths. So I get nine ones, and that one tenth, one one that I unbundled is now ten tenths into its smaller units. So ten tenths plus zero tenths are ten tenths, and that's what you see right here. You saw from the very beginning, the the uh, place value discs that are in black are what we have right up here: one hundred, nine tens, nine ones, and ten tenths. Now we can do our subtraction. I'm trying to subtract two or more tenths. Do I have two or more tenths? Yes. I'm trying to subtract five ones. Do I have five or more ones? Yes. And I'm not subtracting any tens or hundreds. So we go about our business and do that. Ten minus eight, sorry, ten minus two tenths is eight tenths. And nine minus five ones, nine ones minus five ones are four ones. And I'm not subtracting any tens, so I'm just keeping the tens that I have there, and I'm subtracting any hundreds. And our answer is 194 and 8 tenths. I hope that this video helps you to understand how to add and subtract decimals. And remember the, the most basic principle or idea. When you add or subtract anything in math, whether it be fractions, whole numbers, decimals, um, even when you get to algebra, when you add or subtract, you can only add or subtract the same units. 
Hope that you enjoy this video, and I will see you on the next video when we talk about multiplying decimals and dividing decimals. Take care.